Today I'm going to look at the song Salisbury Plain, an excellent song of seduction, highwaymen and capture. The song has very little background history, but still makes an interesting study. As I walked over Salisbury Plain, Oh, there I met a scamping young blade. He kissed me and enticed me so, Till along with him I was forced far to go. We came unto a public house at last, And there for man and wife we did pass. He called for ale, wine and strong beer, Till at length we both to bed did repair. Undress yourself, my darling, says he, Undress yourself and come to bed with me. Oh, yes, that I will then, says she, If you keep all of those flash girls away. The narrator of the song takes up with a young man whilst walking over Salisbury Plain. The man takes her to an inn, feeds her and plies her with drink, and they finish up in bed. Next day, he states, he will support her by becoming a highwayman. He gets caught and is eventually hanged. A typical tale of seduction and crime. Yet the song is quite intriguing because it's sung from the young woman's point of view and has a wonderful tune. The first noting of this song was in 1893, when Henry Burstow of Horsham in West Sussex refused to sing the words of the song to Lucy Broadwood but he would hum the tune. The collected tune soon loses direction, which later led to an observation within the folk song journals that many of the traditional singers had difficulty separating the tune from the words. The tune was printed in the folk song journal of 1902, but there is little in Burstow's printed tune that ties in with the general tune or word patterns of other samples of the Salisbury Plain. It's reported that Burstow sang the song to Vaughan Williams in 1904, but I can find no actual record of the notation to enable comparison. Vaughan Williams did collect the song from Mr and Mrs Verrill, who also lived in Orsham, in October 1904. Perhaps this is where the confusion arises. There's very little traceable history or background to this ballad. I can find no trace of it as a broadside. The song may have been a locally composed piece, or a song that had already declined by the time it was being collected. It was collected eight times, including Henry Burstow's version, either in Horsham or villages within ten miles of Horsham during a period from October 1904 to April 1908. It does not appear to have been collected outside this area. Vaughan Williams did collect a version from a Mr Flint in Surrey, but Mr Flint had previously lived in Rusper, a village near Horsham. There are slight variations in the phrasing and tune pattern as might be expected of individuals learning and singing a song from the oral sources. On the whole, the basic tune is fairly consistent for all of these versions. In 1908, Cecil Sharp collected the song from Mrs Monet of Shipley, West Sussex, who commented that she'd learnt the song 53 years previously from an 80-year-old man who lived in Shipley. Henry Burstow wrote out a set of words for Salisbury Plain and sent it to Vaughan Williams. The full words of the song were collected four times in differing areas. Although there are eight variations, the words conform to a common text. The last verse of the song, which is common to all the collected sets of words, has often been left out of printed versions, probably because it doesn't scan. This is how it goes. Come all you young men, and a warning take by me. Never let those flash girls win your heart. For if you do, you will rue and die upon the high drop at last. In a song competition set up by the West Sussex Gazette in December 1904, Miss Lucy Broadwood was invited to act as judge and add her scholarly wisdom on the adjudication of the entries. Over 270 songs were submitted. The winning tunes were published in the West Country Gazette of the 11th of May 1905. The winner of the words and tune section was Mrs. Verrill of Horsham, who sang Salisbury Plain together with another song, Covent Garden. The tune was printed in the following issue of the Gazette. Six of the other versions of the song were collected in 1907 and 1908, 
and it is possible that these other singers took up the song again after the tune had been published in the West Country Gazette. It might account for the duplication of the words. However, I have no actual evidence of this. There is a second song named Salisbury Plain, as I tripped over Salisbury Plain, as collected by both George Gardner and the Hammond Brothers in Dorset and Hampshire. This second song is a light-hearted love song of milkmaids and sex, and is not connected to the Salisbury Plain now under review. Nor is the military song, The Blues, also known as The Route of the Blues, which opens with the line, As I crossed over Salisbury Plain. I shall leave you with a complete performance of Salisbury Plain, as sung by Mrs Verrill and collected in 1904. I've left out the final verse, which does not readily work. As I walked over Salisbury Plain, Oh, there I met a scamping young blade. He kissed me and enticed me so, Till along with him I was forced far to go. We came unto a public house at last, And there for man and wife we did pass. He called for ale, wine and strong beer, Till at length we both to bed did repair. Undress yourself, my darling, says he, Undress yourself, and come to bed with me. Oh, yes, that I will then, says she, If you keep all of those flash girls away. Those flash girls you need not fear, For you'll be safeguarded, my dear. I'll maintain you as some lady so gay. For I'll go a-robbing on the king's highway. Early next morning, my true love, he arose. And so nimbly he put on his clothes. Straightway to the highway he set sail. T'was there he robbed the coaches of the mail. Oh, it's now my love in Newgate jail do lie, Expecting every moment to die. The Lord have mercy on his poor soul, For I think I hear the death bell toll.